The past five weeks, I've been working on refining my practice routine for what is actually most valuable at the given moment, working on building a better understanding of how millions of game works through watching VODs of good players and coaching resources, grinding parts of the Punish game that you can actually do yourself at Uncle Punch, building game plans and Punish game flow charts against the most common characters, and I've been attending a lot of tournaments. For this first month, I was tracking progress through exercise to help me see statistical improvements and not just rely on my own game feel. This isn't the best method, but early progress is drastic enough to see it with something like this. I did one game on each stage every day I practiced to track these. Some days were missed. On week 6, I decided to change my practice routine, phasing this out, but I will be finding a new way to track something statistically. So I'm going to update my goals a bit here so I have a few more things to go for uh, to not feel like my progress isn't actually progressing how I want it to. So instead of my next goal actually being to go to into a domain bracket of a weekly, I'm going to make my main goal to go top 80 at this online weekly called the, like Tired of Zero and Two, I believe. I've gotten 70 of the past two I played at, but it's something to add in there so that I actually feel like I'm going somewhere, moving somewhere as a player, besides just what I see visually. In the background is a match I played with the fourth seed in my pool called Helm at Super Meat. Uh, this player has actually stomped me before around like week two or three, so this is a set where I wind up going one and two with them, and could have, I think I could definitely could have won this. So, somewhat of a gauge of just how far I've actually came so far. Now, moving forward with what my plans are for next month as far as improvement go. Things I've noticed I really need to work on are my defensive game. When I actually like rewatch my sets, even if Falcon doesn't have the best defensive tools, there's a lot I need to be doing more of as when I look at my own stats um, through like slippy replay and look at you know how then every interaction plays out in most games, a lot of times I'm dying from like single hits. I have improved my DI a lot the past month. But there's a lot more you have to do to actually be able to live on Falcon. Uh, Falcon is combo food to like the highest degree in this game. And he doesn't really have any like good out of shield option like that. So you have to be like really, really nuanced in what you're doing. If you want to actually live when you get hit from a lot of the top tiers, especially spaces. And I'm just not there really yet. So something I need to really, really work on for this month. Uh, I'm going to start probably copying uh, SGJ's practice routine as... You know, I was kind of making one up on the fly when I originally started actually working toward this, and I think that his will probably wind up being better than whatever I can come up with myself, given how much of a good player he is. I still need to work on my punish game a lot more. It is getting better and better, but it's still pretty inconsistent. Um, obviously, certain things are very hard. I don't want to be relying on, like, guest tech chasing. Uh, on Falcon, which I know a lot of middle players actually wind up doing. It is it is more of a shortcut, in my opinion, when I could learn how to reaction tech chase properly. Uh, it's a much, much better like, risk reward scenario for me to do that. I'm not too worried about if I'm going to do good tomorrow. I'm worried if I'm going to do really good in six months. Therefore, reaction tech chasing is the way to go for me. I seem to get much better at actually reading my opponent's habits. Uh, I currently am kind of just like flow charting like really poorly and even if I know they're gonna do it, I'm not really doing anything about it. This can be like picking up on when a Marth player wants to like aerial in place or they want to down tilt or they want to, you know, get up to you and grab and stuff like that. I need to actually get a working like understanding and recognize it while I'm actually playing versus somebody in order to punish those sort of things. Now these are kind of general things. Uh, hopefully I have a bit of more refined understanding uh, but then the next month on just what particularly I'm doing wrong. And there's only so much I can recognize so far as I'm playing. You know, I'm going to let the rest of the set play out uh, again, like last video, just so there is a good like layer there, good visual representation of where I was right now so I can compare it in the future.